There are more than 500 pizzerias in Manhattan alone. Luckily, I've got an expert guide. Scott Wiener runs Scott's Pizza Tours and has forgotten more about pizza than most people have ever known. If you're looking for good pizza in America, just follow the lines of Italian immigration coming from the south of Italy. The wave of pizza that's becoming so popular right now is the original style. Take a look at this. Vertical hold test. That is Nothing's the, falling off. The vertical hold test. Everything's holding on. Everything's holding on tight. When it comes to New York and pizza, there is only one man to call. If there was a doctor of philosophy in the field, he would hold it. That's right, Tone. Scott here in front of Lombardi's, where they've been baking pies since 1905. Tony! Scott, what's up? I'm ready to rock and roll. Are right, you ready to teach me all about the history of New York City pizza? I was born ready. The battle of the slices begins in Astoria, right here, right now, at Rizzo's. I'm getting the sweet tomato on the roof of my mouth. I'm getting the creamy buffalo mozzarella on the sides, and I'm getting that delicious crust texture on my tongue. It's only been here for five years, but the oven's been here for 106 years, which means that this was an old bread bakery. It was called the Palermo Bakery. I'd like to bounce these radical ideas off someone, so I've called in Scott Wiener, our professional pizza enthusiast and a Patsy's regular. For me, a good pizza is something that's got a lot of balance, equal proportions of cheese and sauce and crust. I really like Patsy's pizza because it's got equal elements of everything and you're not overwhelmed at all. I tried one of the mozzarella spheres in, in the laboratory, but I didn't know what it was gonna taste like on this pizza. And it's having this amazing soothing effect after the hot chili oil. It's like a beverage built into the pizzas. John Sasso picked up the thin crust pizza trade working here at Lombardi's. But in 1929, he left and opened his namesake. He left there and in 1929, he opened on this side of town, the west side of town, which at that time was its own little Italy. Every building in this row was a grocery store, a cheese shop, or a bakery of some sort. And John's is really the place that stuck around all through 80 years. This week on Day Trippers, pizza is prominent. This is Scott Wiener. Well, New York is a place that really changed pizza. Bad name. I'm obsessed with pizza. Great idea. I live pizza. Scott's Pizza Tour is this sort of culinary adventure where we visit culturally significant pizzerias all over New York City. You can take any toppings you want, as long as the balance between salty and sweet is set. Find out if there's something that you like about pizza and follow that trend and you'll be able to be happy with every slice you find. Thank you guys again for coming and have a slice day. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.